Hey, Dr. Hansen here from drhansen.com. So today I wanted to, to talk to you guys about PCOS. And I'm seeing it more and more frequently in my new patient consultations. And, and probably for the past six or eight months, I've had at least one or two women each week that have been newly diagnosed with PCOS. And most of them have been pretty unclear about what exactly PCOS is and uh, what are the action steps to actually help and resolve the root cause of it. So... First, let's talk about what is PCOS. PCOS stands for polycystic ovarian syndrome. And what that is, is it's a group of symptoms that are due to hormonal imbalances. And the main symptoms of PCOS include high androgen or testosterone or male hormones levels. It can be acne, facial hair growth, irregular or no menstrual cycle, cysts on your ovaries. And the main and number one symptom that, that I see women uh, coming to, to my clinic for when they're diagnosed with PCOS, is infertility. So PCOS is actually the number one cause of infertility in the USA. And at least 30% of women are going to have some symptoms of PCOS. And that's a conservative estimate. And just like every other chronic disease, the instances of PCOS and their diagnosis is just increasing more and more and more. So most women come to me and say that they were told by their, their gynecologist or their family physician, whoever diagnosed them with PCOS, that the real only solution is to take birth control. And unfortunately, this isn't true. That is not the only solution. And uh, any functional medicine trained doctor knows that, that birth control does not address the root cause of PCOS. All birth control does is mask the symptoms. It makes your body, it tricks your body into thinking that you're, you're artificially pregnant and, and kind of artificially screws up your hormonal levels to make you think that, that you're not experiencing any of these symptoms of PCOS. It does absolutely nothing to address the root causes of PCOS. So the second you stop taking that birth control pill, you're gonna start to experience your symptoms that you were experiencing. They don't ever go away unless you, you target the root cause of PCOS. So PCOS is not just one symptom or not just one disorder. Uh, it's actually at least four distinct and different disorders and probably five. So to think that, that there's just one magic pill to, to resolve all of these five different issues is just, that's just completely unrealistic and it's untrue. So I'll briefly talk about the different types of PCOS so that you can understand where you might be falling into the spectrum of PCOS. And uh, then we'll talk about some of the active steps that you can take to, to address the root cause instead of just covering up the symptoms. So type 1 P PCOS is, is like the classic t PCOS. Uh, it is associated with high androgen levels, high, high male hormone sex levels like testosterone. You're not going to have... Uh, you're not going to be ovulating or your ovulation is going to be really irregular and you're going to have cysts on your ovaries. Type 2 PCOS is going to be associated with high androgen levels, irregular absent ovulation, and there's not going to be cysts on your ovaries. So type 1 and type 2, pretty difficult to have. A, you're going to experience infertility because your ovulation is screwed up. Type 3 PCOS, you call it ovulatory PCOS, is characterized with high androgens, high male hormone sex levels, cysts on your ovaries, but no ovulation issues, no ovulation disorders. So there's a chance that you can get pregnant on type 3 PCOS. Type 4 is you're not going to have those high male hormone sex levels, but your ovulation is going to be screwed up and you're going to have cysts on your ovaries. So going to have infertility issues with this one. And type 5 PCOS is it's the unofficial type, but this is what we see in, uh, in clinical practice all the time. This is what I'm commonly seeing. This is what I've been seeing for the past six or eight months more commonly now. And it's associated with obesity or uh, excess weight, especially around the midsection. It's going to be associated with insulin resistance or metabolic syndrome. And that also means like pre-diabetic. So your blood sugar levels are going to be high. It's usually due to, to having a, a poor diet, lack of exercise, Common, common things that are plaguing us as, uh, as Americans now with, with the jobs that we work and the stresses we experience. Um, and because of this obesity or this weight gain and because of this insulin resistance or prediabetes, what's going to happen is your body is going to produce excess testosterone and that's going to lead to producing more estrogen and it's going to cause all these hormonal imbalances and the combination of these two 
high estrogen testosterone is going to result in acne, facial hair, irregular cycles, uh, screwed up ovulation. So basically PCOS. So what are, what's the real solution? To, to resolving PCOS instead of just masking it with a birth control pill. It's, it's, there's a few steps to the process and it's best done under the supervision of a physician who can really help you and coach you and, and do very functional and specific lab testing to, to really address the different issues. But the, the, the few steps involve one, making sure that there's no nutrient deficiencies because Taking birth control and taking other medications is always going to lead to nutrient deficiencies. Our poor diet always leads to nutrient deficiencies. And when there's not the proper nutrients for hormonal production, there's going to be hormonal issues. So one, we clean up any nutrient deficiencies. Step two, lifestyle medicine. And that's going to be stress-reducing techniques. That's going to be exercise, and that's going to be diet and nutrition. So the first two nutrient deficiencies in lifestyle medicine kind of fell into to the same category. We'll put those on this side. And then the other side here is we have, to, we have to use functional and very specific lab testing to see where your hormone, product, hormone production is, where there's dysfunction, if there's any other issues going on with your body. And then we have to, we have to make those different areas function properly. And when we make those different areas function properly, then, then your body works like it's supposed to, your hormones get output at, at normal levels, and you don't experience symptoms of PCOS. So you're addressing the root cause of your issues because your issues are all due to hormonal imbalance. And we find that there are three areas that, that usually need to be addressed in, in women experiencing PCOS. First area is the your HPA access. And this is like the air traffic control center for, for all your various hormones in your body. And we test that with a, a, a super easy saliva test that you can do at home. And it's really accurate and it's really specific to your hormonal production. We always start there because that's that's the main root cause of your solutions. Uh, the second area that always needs to be, not always, but usually needs to be addressed is your digestive system. And if you had a bad diet or a crappy diet, what happens is inflammation occurs in your digestive systems. It can cause all these different problems. It's going to cause nutrient deficiencies. Uh, there could also potentially be chronic undetected infections, which can lead to a dysregulation or a uh, weakened function of that HPA, HPA axis, that air traffic control center for your hormones, and that's going to lead to hormonal problems. So sometimes we have to look there. And the third place that we have to look sometimes is going to be your detox systems. So if you're a woman and you've taken birth control or you've taken any other medications or hormone replacement therapy, what that happens is there's an extra burden that gets put on your liver detox pathways. And, and many women that react poorly to birth control, they're going to have liver detox issues, which is going to, again, lead to, to weakening of that HPA access. You're not going to be able to excrete excess hormones, so there's going to be a buildup of estrogen potentially too, which is going to lead to hormonal imbalances. So we have to address your detox systems. So these three different systems, your, your hormones, your digestive system, and your, and your detox pathways are, are different areas where there can be dysfunction. They all communicate with each other. So we have to use specific lab testing and uh, lab-based nutrient protocols to, to address these different areas of dysfunction. So uh, hopefully this covered some information, gave you more information on PCOS so you can better understand what you might be experiencing and some steps to take forward. Uh, to, so you can move forward and, and start to really address the root causes of your issues. Um, so if you're interested, we offer free 30-minute consultation to, to understand what's going on with you and to let you know if we can help you or not. And if we can't help you personally, what we'll do is we'll refer you to someone else that can, can better address your needs. But, so we offer a free 30-minute consultation, and during this time, we'll hear your story, we'll understand what's going on with you, uh, and we'll give you an action plan. We'll, we'll find the specific lab tests that, that need to be performed for, for your individual biochemistry in your body, and, <clears throat> and what we'll do is we'll, we'll figure out what's going on, and we'll, we'll develop a plan to, to help you move forward and address the root causes of your issues. So if you're interested, click the link below and uh, schedule a free 30-minute consultation. I, I hope to, to hear from you, and I look forward to speaking with you, and I hope you have a great day. Have a good day.